calling? Um, hi, um, I've had this t-shirt for about 12 years, maybe a bit longer. It says dangerous times and I believe we are living in very dangerous times. And if you look on the back of it, it's got an even better message. I hope you got that. But the most important sign I'm wearing today is uh, my free Julian Assange sign. Because this is an absolute travesty that this man who spoke, free, uh, spoke uh, truth and was for a free press has been, um, you know, just held in custody without trial, without any kind of um, democracy or de democratic process being done. This British country of ours... Well, it's a trial, always... but it's a show trial, so it may as well not be a trial at all, you're right. That's right, it is a show okay. trial. Um, you know, he, he's never been charged with anything. He's never had a free uh, and fair um, hearing of any sort. He's been bundled from place to place. You know, just um, against his will, he was, um, he was arrested, um, put in one place and then another place. Which was the and then, of the CIA. Yes, that's of course, of course. And then he was, why? Because someone gave him information that showed uh, the Americans and the British to be uh, complicit in and actually taking part in illegal acts, war crimes in Iraq, in Afghanistan, and um, because of a whistleblower. And whistleblowing isn't a crime. Journalism isn't a crime. He's a journalist. And he is a journalist. Yes, he's a journalist. His only crime is that he published what a whistleblower gave him because it was in the best public interest to do so. And then he's lived in, you know, an embassy where he was then illegally uh, grabbed by the British state and arrested again. He's lived in and uh, been held in against his wishes and the wishes of most of the British public. Right. The, the and I should think Americans as well. As well. A lot of Americans, a lot of yep. uh, probably a lot more Europeans. Yep. Um, so around the world, people are screaming and shouting that this is not justice, it's one of the biggest injustices of our times. And Julian must be freed today to go and live his life, which is still going to be blighted because of the mental and physical torture he has sustained during this period. He's begun and just now his sixth year in Belmarsh. In yeah, Belmarsh Prison. I've been into Belmarsh Prison as a visitor and I have to say it takes a long time to get in and to get out for a very short period of time in there. But the conditions are not wonderful. But should he be extradited to the US, I really fear for his life. And they wanted to kill him. It's on record and Mike Pompeo has not denied it. Yeah. So let's just hope he, that the judges yeah. see sense to and, and just for people's knowledge, Guantanamo Bay is still open. Yep. There are still British prisoners who have never been tried in Guantanamo Bay. And, you know, of that era, um, there's Julian and many others who have just been taken from the streets and imprisoned without due process. And it is continuing today. And our laws are getting tougher and tougher. Even our voice, our freedom of our press is being is being basically shut down day in and day out. But while I have a voice, I will raise my voice loud and clear. Free, free, Julian Assange. Free, free, Julian Assange. They will not silence us. They will not, and we will win this. One, we are the people. Two, we won't be silenced. Three, stop this trial now, 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 now. Bless you, do you want to give a name or are we anonymous? Carol. Carol, I love yeah. you.